Okay, so the question is, do I need a realtor to sell my house? And the quick answer to that question is, no, you don't. You don't need one if you want to sell it yourself. You see it all the time on these for sale by owner websites and all for sale by owner signs out in the front yard. So what is the advantage of a realtor? Well, a realtor is a licensed real estate agent who pays membership dues to the National Association of Realtors and pledges to a code of ethics. And one of those code of ethics is to protect and promote the interests of the client, which would be you if you choose to hire a realtor. And so the advantages of, of hiring a realtor would be that your property would be uploaded into what they call the MLS, multiple listing service. And from the MLS, all the data will be put in there and the agent can pull all the comparables around there to, to analyze your property and come up with a uh, best estimate of price on the market in today's, in today's mar current market. Right. And now once all that is done and it gets syndicated out, all right, the, you'll, you'll notice that a lot of times you'll see all these houses that are listed for sale on Zillow, Trulia, uh, Redfin, Realtor.com. And, and listen, a lot of times agents will sit there and tell you at the listing appointment that they're going to make sure it gets all these. That's just a click of a box inside the MLS. They click a box and boom, it gets syndicated everywhere. The agent will also uh, walk you through the whole process of accepting and negotiating the contracts all the way through closing. Then that's the advantages of a realtor. But if you already have a buyer, do you still need one? Maybe not. Maybe you can go talk to your real estate attorney at the title company. Uh, they can draw you up a contract between you and the buyer. Uh, if you have a buyer already, that's fine. He, they can walk you through it and make you, make you save a lot of money. But then again, maybe you're more comfortable with an agent walking you all the way through. Maybe your buyer wants an agent, but you don't have to pay that buyer's agent. We sold a property a few years ago uh, to a buyer. We didn't use a realtor. We didn't put on the MLS. We negotiated a price. We put it on paper, put a one page contract, sent it to the title company. Next thing you know, the buyer wants to be represented by an agent. That's fine. We told him. But guess what? You're incurring that expense. We're, we're under no obligation to pay your buy-in agent anything. You want it, you want to feel more comfortable? Hey, that's great. And we encourage you to do so if that's what you want to do. But we're not incurring that expense, you incur it. And so he did. He paid his own agent out of his own pocket. I'm not too sure what that agent did, but either way, he got paid, he felt more comfortable, the transaction went through, everything went smooth. We didn't pay no fees to no listing broker, nor any fees to a buying agent, period. But we had our buyer and that's what i'm saying if you already have your buyer maybe you can just arrange something else look the best person that can answer if you need to use a realtor or not is going to be you all right you got to feel comfortable with what you're doing and remember if you choose not to use one um, we all have consequences of the choices we make whether it be good or bad all right so i hope this short video helped you out uh, I, do, I will leave a link down here for the national association of realtor Ed code of ethics for for reference as well as a podcast my brother and I did on this very subject. So you may want to listen to that as well. It kind of gets a little bit more in depth than this. I just wanted to put something out real quick to kind of help answer that question. All right, my name is Gerald Enriquez and I am a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Texas. And I hope you got some value out of that video tutorial. Um, if you have any questions and or concerns, by all means, feel free to contact me on my information should be here on this page or on my about page. Uh, send me your questions and I'll try to cover it in another video. Uh, that way, if somebody else has that same questions, they can benefit it as well. Also, take a look around this, this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you might already see some, some questions that already are answered. Whether you decide to use me or not, you should be able to benefit from this. You or anybody else that's uh, planning on buying or selling a house. All right, take care and God bless.